Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as at Koyanlu. Took some more land in the last video and we are preparing to strike against the Ottoman. Which will be very easy. Let's get the troops in position for a sneak attack. Very un um sportsmanlike. Persia will cede some land over to Afghanistan, so it looks like Persia has gotten royally screwed over. Which is excellent, because we just took a load of land in order to firm Persia. So if we can kill them, maybe feed off some land to Afghanistan and take the rest for myself, we will get to form Persia very soon. At least I'm hoping we can do that this week. I can't see any reason not to. We'll find out, though. Alright, so, troops are getting in position. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and declare the war now. Does he get black flagged for starting in my land? I can't really say for sure, but we'll give it a go. So, we can call in the Mamluks, and I don't see any reason not to do that. Can't call in anyone else, of course. But at least this time the Mamluks won't be quite so useless, I hope. Where are all your troops? You still have 13,000 men sitting in Cyprus that have done nothing this whole game. And it looks like the Ottomans have lost their navy again, by the way. Which, you know, sucks to be them. Nope, never mind, they decided to bring 25,000 troops back down here. For some reason, the Mamluks are obsessed with leaving armies to rot in that province. I don't understand it, but alright. So we're gonna try to take, um... I don't know, let's let's try to t make uh, Tokat or something into our war goal. Just something to get us a ticking war score pretty quick. And I don't see any reason to co these guys, so we'll stick without it. Alright, we're gonna lose some legalism, but that's fine. Die, die, die. And no, you don't get black flagged. Hello. Okay, can I chase you down? Let's send some troops over this direction. We'll try to cut them off. The Commonwealth is coming in from the north, but they've been black flagged, which sucks for them. Okay. Can we catch you guys here in Shervin? That's what I'd like to know. Doesn't look like it because we are slow, as always. It's fine. I'll just siege down Shervin proper. Where are you going, by the way? Not allowed. I'm going to catch you over here. Hello. And... no. Oh. I thought you were going to stop here. You're going to go further, huh? Okay, that's probably fine. Um, Ottomans are coming up north to try and deal with me, but the Commonwealth is not far behind. Let's make sure we grab some sieges in this province before the Commonwealth does, or rather, Wallachia does. Burst of administrative thought. Lose corruption. Sweet. I like getting free corruption reduction. It's nice. We've won the siege in Shervin already. That was quick. So let's go here. We grabbed that. Where... Did you split your army? Wait. Did he... Didn't he just have a 20-something thousand stack? Why is it 14 now? Am I missing something or... Oh, there they are. Okay. Yep. I kind of figured that Circassia would have reported this nearby, but yeah, they fought the Commonwealth. That's what's going on there. Alright, before your troops are able to get together, let's trap you in Circassia. Or Circassia. I don't know. See if we can kill you. The Commonwealth's on the way as well. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Come back. Okay, Russia's rivaled me back. That's fun. He's going up north, and the Commonwealth will chase him down. So that's fine. Let's go grab you. Let's go grab you. And then we'll start pushing on the east while his forces are split. This is going to be super duper easy. Okay, he's trapped. He can't really go anywhere. I control this little section, and there's mountains. The Caucasus Mountains are stopping him from going anywhere. Playing the courts yet again. Free legalism. Yay. All right. That's good. You guys can start going this direction. Bohemia is not supporting their dynasty in the Commonwealth. Does the Commonwealth not have an heir? They got a they got a Habsburg on the uh, as an heir. A forty four year old? No, that's not right. Uh, whatever. They they've got a, they've got a, they've got an heir. It looks like Austria. Okay, is this telling me that it's Austria will get a? personal union, or is it telling me that their descendant is Austrian in culture? Do they have the elective monarchy? Oh, they do! They kept their elective monarchy. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's go to Circassia since we're gonna... Circassia, whatever, I'm sorry, since he's going to be stuck here. And that's a stack wipe for me! Easy! Okay, we'll grab this land here. You guys start marching to the east. We're gonna grab our war goal, and then we're gonna make our push all the way to Byzantium. Great Britain, the Triangle Trade! <laughs> Controversial! Can't do anything here. Let's send these guys this direction. That actually reminds me, I just saw a production of 1776 pretty recently, which was pretty interesting. Transoxiana wants to join. Ooh. We can finally use them! Let's call them in. Might as well. Go deal with these guys. Get me some free war score. 
1776 is an interesting musical, for those of you who do not know. Uh, but one of the things they have a whole song dedicated to is uh, the Triangle Trade. It's very haunting, actually, as to the sins of America and why we should have uh, banned slavery right from the beginning. But we didn't, and everyone was a hypocrite about it, basically. We all profited off of it. Kind of scary, kind of upsetting. Very dark melody. Let's see if we can catch these guys out here. We'll kill them. We'll kill you all. How did it go? It's like, um, oh yeah, molasses, rum, and slaves. Hey, Creepy, creepy, freaking stuff. Anyway, moving on. I often maintain that the United States is truly an exceptional nation and that it was founded upon some truly exceptional principles, but has failed to live up to those principles on several occasions, slavery being one of them. Uh, but at least the point of America is to be constantly trying to move in a better direction, right? In order to form a more perfect union? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, ideas! We can afford to get the uh, annexation cost reduction. I'm going to go ahead and grab that before worrying about the next level of tech. That way, if we do to start uh, annexing Circassia, we'll be able to get it at a discount. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, I do. All right. This all seems reasonable enough. Now, Circassia, of course, is not assisting me in my war effort at all because they are disloyal. And my ships just crushed their remaining trade ships and galleys. Are the Ottomans... What's your tech level? 12? Oh! You are way behind in tech! I'm willing to bet that your ships are, like, super outdated and suck. Either that, or what I was about to guess, is maybe they have, like, low naval maintenance. Ah, crap! Never mind, they've got more ships than I thought. We're still sinking a few of them. We actually might win this fight. I can afford to lose a couple ships. Let's sink his navy. Look at him go! Okay, yeah, this... They've, they've rebalanced something. It's turning out that it's fairly easy to destroy uh, a nation's navy. They feel like they're sinking faster than ever. Let's actually get all these people over here to your capital. Let's siege this down. Cores are done. Nice. That fixes some problems. Lack of protection. Worldly ulema. Gain corruption. I don't really want that. I think we'll go ahead and accept that. They need to adapt or absent merchant. That's fine. Farsi? Oh, we converted somebody. But now we have Farsi separatists and a lot of them. Kind of sucks, but let's go ahead and continue working on some of those. And two forts to work on here. We'll want to go to Adurn soon after this. Maybe we can go and deal with these Farsi separatists. I'm not sure what tech level they'll be on technically, but maybe we can deal with it. I really don't feel like dealing with them too much longer. We'll grab the capital, we'll grab a Dern, and it looks like... Oh yeah, okay, so Wallachia and the Commonwealth have finished their war. So, can I just point out that the Mamluks are once again completely and utterly worthless to me and doing nothing to assist? What about Transoxiana? At least they're doing something. The Mamluks are now a worthless ally. Something's bugged out their AI, and they are not assisting me in anything but naval battles. And I'm not okay with that, I'm really not. Let's hire ourselves a new general. Ooh, really good fire and shock value. I like that. Uh, new Madrasa. Development cost, tax modifier, and local missionary strength in Ardalan. That's pretty useful, I suppose. I'll definitely get behind that. Why not? It's pretty good. New monarch in the Commonwealth. The Habsburg, once again, of Austria and in descent. Circassia. Russia is now supporting their independence. How rude. Free prestige. Grab. All right, so now they're going to be incredibly disloyal, which I suppose I shouldn't be surprised about. We'll pay off your debt, but yeah. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about these guys for a long, long time. If Russia's going to be supporting their independence, then they're going to be very disloyal. Very, very disloyal for a while. That sucks. Let's fabricate a new claim on Basra. There you go. Pull off a of Ute, don't care. We'll keep the spy on the Ottomans. I'm going to go ahead and improve relations with the Commonwealth for a little bit. Uh, and my ally in Transoxiana, and my ally in Afghanistan, since we'll probably be able to do something with them in the future. I don't want them turning against me. And let's, um... Is there any European power that I want to be friends with? Not really, but maybe we want to start considering allying Ethiopia in the near future so we can use them against the Mamluks. They're rivals, after all. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We've won a siege. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and start improving relations with them. I know that they're Copts, but this could work out pretty well. We'll see. 
So you're Farsi, right? Um, because there used to be a Fars as a nation. Do you have any other cores? One there. You don't have one here. Okay, so I know where he's going to go. He's going to go here next in the mountains. We can meet him here and get the uh, two or three modifier. Uh, sorry, two. The two roll modifier. It'll be fine. Mamluks are trying to siege some land for themselves. It's rude. I don't like that. You're not allowed. Go to Adurn. They don't have a navy. We will siege down this fort. Gain some more cores. That was easy. Circassian pretender rebels fighting the Ottomans. <laughs> That's funny. Capped out on power. All right. So what do we want to do? Uh, let's pay down our inflation once. There we go. Make, save myself some money. They actually went here to Hormuz. Oh. Okay. Maybe I don't know where they're going to go. Let's siege this real quick. They could go over here. Yeah, let's unsiege this real quick because we didn't quite finish making this a core. You're either going to come after me or you're going to go to Fasa. I bet you're going to go to Fasa. Let's try to fight him here. Let's see if they come after me. Austria is the Emperor. Shocker. They're always the Emperor. No, they're going south. All right, let's just freaking kill him. Hey, I got there first. What do you know? Minus three penalty for you. Ha ha. That sucks for you. Not not for me. It's great for me. And they're dead. Good. Transoxiana is unseaging some land for me. That's convenient. I appreciate it. Um, we could send the other army over here, but I don't think we need to. Well, yeah, we do. Let's let's go siege down a second fort. The Ottomans have more forts than I think I gave them credit for initially. All right, so you guys are fully repaired. Let's go ahead and go up here to get some extra blockade. Never mind, didn't need it. Golden era for Bohemia. Okay, let's just sit here in the Aegean Sea. Uh, and we could enact a new tax. Okay. Tax farming, national tax modifier plus 15% and 160 ducats. Core creation cost reduction, that I like. That would save me monarch points and we're about to take a lot of land. Or diplo rep and liberty desire. Liberty desire I don't think is going to make a difference for Circassia as long as Russia is supporting them. Let's go for land acquisition though. This is going to be pretty good. And by the way, yes, I would like to make Mashriki an accepted uh, culture. I know people were suggesting that. But, first off, it is already part of the same culture group, so it's a reduced penalty, as opposed to, let's say, Luri or whatever, which are not accepted at all. Also, I'm trying to save up some Diplo power for tech and for ideas, so we'll have to hold off on that for the time being. Alright, new fort down here. I don't think the Ottomans really have any troops at all, so I think we'll be okay. We're maxed out with the Commonwealth. They don't hate me anymore. I guess we'll take that as a win. Hey, admin efficiency! That even that reduces my core cost even more! Love it. Development efficiency goes up and the universities become an option. Excellent. We're getting a lot of uh, tech cost reductions that are adding up in this campaign so far. We're actually holding together fairly well as far as power is concerned. Admin power, anyway. Wallachia, I have never seen get this large. This is really weird. They're larger than Hungary. It's like an early form of Romania, right? Basically. Oh, hey, the Ottomans have more troops. I think Transoxiana is going to have to be able to deal with that. And I'm dead. That sucks. We have a Regency now. What kind of Regency do I got? A 4-3-2 Regency. With Missionary Strength. Hey, you know what? That could be a lot worse. I can kind of work with that. Now, did we... Okay, so... Where's the idea cost thing? Someone mentioned that the idea cost reduction in exchange for stability cost was permanent, and I think they're right. But I don't see it here. So yeah, it sounds to me like that's true. Okay. Yep. Yep. So I had originally thought that when I got that idea cost reduction uh, action for finishing innovative ideas, I had thought that that was only going to be on a per ruler basis. I'm incorrect. It is permanent. That's probably fine, though. It doesn't really bother me at all. Troops are on the way, and we're going to siege down two more forts. 58% war score currently. Hormuz has global trade. Russia was spying on me. Very rude. It doesn't look like Transoxiana is making a lot of progress on these guys. Can we piece them out? No. Transoxiana is not doing a lot at all, actually. I'm very disappointed in them. Why is it so hard for you to unsiege some of this stuff? Persian Separatists. Oh, that's a lot. Hi. All right, we need, to, we need to stop playing around here with these guys and just freaking finish them off. Let's go siege down this last fort. Uh, and then we'll get out of here. I'm going to leave behind... One troop. 
to make sure that I control the straight so he can't use ships to get me uh, stuck here. And we're already blockading here with maximum efficiency, so we're going to be fine there. So as soon as this fort is done, we'll carpet siege and then send the troops, uh, sorry, the ships over here to finish blockading. Exceptional year. Taxes plus 50%. Love that. All right, so you're done. Split, split, and split. Go here, whoop, here, 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 and here. Ships go over here. Catch out that. That was easy. And we're maxed out with Ethiopia. They actually do kind of like me, which is cool. It's fun to be popular once in a while in your life. Hello. Naval battle. What's going on here? Oh, the Mammoths are going to kill you. Nice. Okay, so they're dead. You go here. You go here. Worldly Ulema again. Mm, I think we can afford to do this this time. I don't have a lot of corruption. Should be going down since I'm ahead of time on some tech. Won't be too bad. And Corfu has been sieged. Excellent. You split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Okay, we're going to finish this carpet siege. Then we're going to have to go kill his army and his ally. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad, though, right? Should actually be downright easy. Okay, so this is all done for. Let's blockade him so his troops can't cross this straight. Not that I'm too worried. Okay, you guys go here, here, and here. And you guys go to Athens. And this should be a more or less full occupation with the exception of Crete. Persia has shared information about the American coast. Wait, or maybe it was Russia sharing it with Persia. Either way, somebody knows about things that I'm sort of surprised they know about. All right, do I want to get ideas or do I want to save up for the tech? Let's get the military tech now. Don't see a reason to hold off. I think we'll save up for the Diplo tech, or do we focus... Actually, you know what? No. Let's grab the aggressive expansion impact, because we're about to finish a war that's going to get me a lot of tech, and I'd like to reduce the likelihood that we have a big coalition. All right. You guys need to start going north. We'll deal with all of them. You guys go over here, and this is going to be easy enough. Just need to finish off your allies. Did we get their capital? Wait, where is their capital? Bashkira? Here it is. Transoxiana, it looks like, is on their way here now. But they're not staying. Why not? Can't piece them out, much as I would like to. Circassia is almost fully occupied. No surprise, and considering they're so disloyal, I can't say that I really feel that bad for them. Let's go kill these guys here in Shervan. I don't want them taking that fort back. It's mine. Mine, I tell you. We'll send an army to go and siege back Circassia as well. Peace offer from the Ottomans. Ugh, oh, ready to give up now, are you? Protect trade in Constantinople. Uh, did you move your army? Nope, Mamluks are still doing absolutely freaking nothing. They're not even going to help me with these Persian separatists. You know how frustrating that is? Worthless morons! Age of Absolutism has begun. It is 1611 after all. So, that gets rid of all of these abilities. We have to start from scratch. And I've got nothing. I need universities. That's what I need. Also, potential for a large army, absolutism, plus 90 multicultural nation? Yes. And a religious league war, which I can't assist with, unless... They still have not started the league. There's no league to join. So yeah, the only things I can do to get more uh, splendor here would be to own some universities, which just cost me money, and to get some different cultures accepted, which cost me diplo power. All doable... It's not too bad. I'm just a little annoyed by it. We need to trap their army. Go to Circassia. Hello. Where do you think you're going? Nope. 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 I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, turkey. Ah! I caught part of you. Catch the rest of them. Oh, come on! How are you sneaking by? I thought I had you. Uh, let's split this. We'll send part of you guys back down this direction. And split, split, go... No, hang on. Split, split, split. Here, here, here. There we go. You just chase him down. I think he's losing money and he's going to have to start uh, reducing his number of troops. Just guessing. Internal conflicts for the Commonwealth. Ooh, hello. Magnate rebels. And Saxon separatists. Huh. Well, if we're lucky, then the Commonwealth is going to start breaking apart. 
that would be nifty. All right, so we're going to unsiege all this crap. You're just going to chase them for a while. And he is, in fact, deleting troops because he can't afford to maintain them anymore. That's a horrible position to be in. I almost, not quite, but almost feel bad for you. But, nah, not really. Reducing it down to five. Yeah, he's just, he, his men are just dying off as they go. It's fine, we'll chase you. Now, we have a call for peace, so we can't take forever on this anymore. I wish Transoxiana would stop messing around and just freaking siege him. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Hormuz has declared war on Oman. That worked out well for you last time, didn't it? Okay. So you go to... There. You go here. Okay. Declining power of the Emirs. Speaking of which, can we get any power? No. I will grant you a general ship and then let you lose the influence. Merchant guilds can demand, but we can't get any more influence to them. I guess we'll accept the 50. It's not a lot, but they'll be disloyal for a little bit. Okay. Okay. You go south, chase him down. Mamluks have been completely worthless to me in this war. Makes me sad. Feels bad, man. All right. This is all getting sieged. Good, 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 and good. Okay, so... Maybe I need to get some troops to go and start sieging down Bashkiria myself. Since I can't rely on Transoxiana to do anything useful. Apparently. We'll get this fort. That'll be easy. Go up here. Let's siege this. Just apply some pressure, at the very least. Anyone else we want to make happy with us? Let's improve relations with France, who did become Protestant! That's hilarious. Spain and will improve with Austria. Just a few European powers. Let's see what happens. What a weird-looking game! Protestant and Reformed are everywhere. Catholics are actually shockingly weak in this game. Fascinating. Not what you typically see. Let's start building some universities, by the way. I will build in my capital, absolutely. We'll build down in Baghdad, probably. Um, and then anywhere else that has farmlands. Which gives me a development cost reduction already, so we'll stack those. So these are my only options, really. Alrighty. Doop, doop. And that's all we would need, right? Five? Yeah, five, in order to get a Splendor. Some of the absolutism ideals are pretty darn good. I want to make sure I grab that. Peace offer from the Ottomans. Don't care. Uh, two base manpower for free. Well, I say free. Cost me a tiny bit, but not a lot. Uh, let's get the general shifted up to here. Send you to go assist. How's the call for peace looking? Do I have war exhaustion? I do, and it's going up a lot. Okay, they're willing to peace out now. Can I take some money from you? Yeah. Can you give me war reps? Yeah. They will not give up their alliance with the Ottomans, but I'm not sure I care. We'll just take your money. Alright, so they're out of here. And we have particularist rebels for the Ottomans, which I don't feel like dealing with. So let's get a diplomat back. There we go. There we go. Uh, what do we want to hand off to Circassia? They wanted some land over here, right? Now, they're disloyal to me. I'm aware of this, but let's at the very least make sure they can fill in some of this border gore. All right, so for you, we'll take these. I will take everything I had claims on, which are these. Aggressive expansion is being reduced by a fair bit. We could get that. Not going to. Could take this. Yeah. Uh, I could take one less province and take both of these, right? Yeah, so Border Gore gets filled in quite a bit. That's nice. I'm alright with that. And this way, we control the Straits, which effectively splits uh, the Ottomans in half, which means they'll never be able to defend against pretty much anything again, as long as we have naval control, which we probably will in the future. I'll take your money, though, and that will have to do. Alright, thanks for playing Ottomans. It was quite fun for me. Skittish. Alright, nice. So, if we ever finish killing the Ottomans, we can become Rum. If we ever finish killing the Persians, we can become Persia. We've got lots of options now. Core, 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 core. Good. Alright, you guys get over here, I guess. You guys go over here. You guys go over here as well. 
We're going to have a lot of unrest to deal with, unfortunately, but that's okay. And they went bankrupt. Ha-ha! All right, Luristani. We got a few rebels to worry about here. Where is this? Yasuj? Doop. Down Mya. Okay. Let's send an army down this direction. And a Vaz. Also down here. Okay. So for now, let's just go ahead and take all my troops and go down this direction. Am I missing a stack? I am. Hello. Thought so. Okay. We'll be fine. I don't think the Particularists are going to be much of a problem. They should leave me alone relatively soon. Commonwealth is no longer rival to the Ottomans, but they have rivaled me. Oh, okay. I guess that means we can't be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? I will get claims on things. Uh, how about Teke? So that uh, the Mamluks can't have it. Uh, and this one as well. So we'll take this coastline so that the Mamluks won't be able to try expanding up into uh, Turkey ever again. And we could try getting some claims up here in Crimea. Do I care? Not really. Let's pull off of the uh, Ottomans because we can't do anything with them at the moment. Uh, Ottoman particularists, you really shouldn't be there. I'm just saying you need to leave. Ottomans have rivaled Wallachia instead. I'm guessing they're no longer considered a world power. Nope, not even close. I am now considered the second in the world. I'm stronger than France in terms of development. Oh, that's hilarious. Definitely didn't expect that to happen. All right. Well, let's go deal with rebels and stuff like that. This will be fine. Uh, we know how to do that, right? And the particularists left me alone. Now I can finally core that. Excellent. Um, I could leave some forts on. I mean, we have plenty of money coming in right now. Do I want to upgrade a... I kind of want to upgrade some guys here. We could go up to a level 4 advisor now. I'm kind of scared to think about how much he would cost, but he's half off. I'm guessing it is... Well, no. I was going to say, I'm guessing it's about the same price to promote an advisor as to hire a new one, but no. It would cost me 336 ducats to promote him up to a level 3, and then we'll have to pay his increased uh, monthly salary, or... We could just pay 173 or 181 to get a level 3 and then pay the same amount of money. It's actually better to get somebody new than to promote. That's interesting. Huh. Not what I expected. I wouldn't mind getting a level 3 advisor that would um, allow me to get some free stabilities and stuff. Also, I really need more Diplo power. So yeah, I think I'll keep the Diplo rep and I'm going to accept the money loss and we're just going to promote this guy. I like this better. I'm paying a pretty hefty fee, honestly, just to keep the Diplo rep as opposed to improve relations. But diplomatic reputation can be a good thing, and I don't really have a lot of that. I guess we have to rival the Commonwealth back now, yeah? Let's do that. All right, so rival to the Ottomans, Russia, and the Commonwealth. Pretty powerful trifecta, uh, ultimately. Circassia still wants to be free of me. And the, the Dimi are back because we have heretics. Or not heretics, sorry. Um, Orthodox, I think. Do we? Yes, we do have uh, Orthodox in a dern. So I could give this land off to the Dimmy if I wanted to. What does that get me again? Local taxes, but you don't get to uh, convert them, ever. I don't really see a good reason to do that. Nah, Dimmy don't matter that much. Albania has declared war against the Ottomans in a reconquest war. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, the Ottomans are super duper screwed. The sooner they die, the sooner I get to form the Sultanate, though. Mushashin, they arrived. Okay, let's kill them here. Squish. No years of separatism for you. Thank you. You guys all go over here. Uh, reinforcements are on the way. Go over here. Military access. Sure, why not? And apparently they called in Austria. That must be fun. Okay, overextension, dangerously high. You know, I didn't even check the overextension to see if it would be a problem, but no, we're fine. We are fine. It's gonna be okay. Still got a ways to go before I can get some more tech. Ottomans are not a world power. That's not surprising. And I can, I think, kill Persia again. You know, they insulted me, but we're still about a year off, a year and a half, from being able to fight them. That's the next big war is fighting Persia, taking everything we can. 
So what I need to do is make sure I'm getting as many claims as I can against these guys. Save myself the Diplo power. Build the spy network. Your ally descend still. Uh, anything else? Can't really do much with Circassia so long as Russia is uh, supporting them, unfortunately. But as long as Russia is not much stronger than me, we'll be okay. And as long as I have the Mamluks... See, this is the thing. Russia could... Uh, sorry, Circassia could declare war on me and call on Russia, and it'd be a pretty tough fight. But as long as I have a network of defensive alliances who are able to defend Transoxiana, Afghanistan, and Mamluks, we'll be okay. I don't think they're going to want to do much. Commonwealth, by the way, is suffering from several different uh, rebels. Mm, I don't know what magnate rebels are. What do they do? What's their specialty? I does not know. Jean Pour has rivaled Transoxiana. Fun. How are we doing on our conversions? We are almost done. Oh, I forgot. I have to get legalism all over again, don't I? Oh, that's fun. Cores are done. That reduces my overextension. That'll be good. Making progress here very slowly. Do I have any edicts still going, by the way? No, those are all gone. Good, I'm not paying unnecessary money. But I may want to start paying in order to get the extra missionary strength in a few places pretty soon. That's fine, maybe after this one's done. A coffee boom for Spain, and Genoa's lost their trade league. Could go for the Diplo rep from Influence Ideas, but I think we're going to save up for the tech just so I can get back ahead of time. For that to work, we need another year, basically. All right, that doesn't seem too bad, but we're going to have to end this video here. So we've blobbed a lot in the last couple of days. The Ottomans are pretty much screwed at this point. Ragusa, Albania, and Austria are killing them. We are in a position to murder Persia. And we'll try out the whole Persian theocracy thing once that's done. I'll form it, I'll become the Empire rank. And then after that's done, I don't really think it's going to be that much longer before the Ottomans are out of here. And then we could form room if we want to. So really, it's a question of how long do we want to play as Persia before we form the next formable nation. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll play around with it and just sort of have fun, but room can be pretty good. Pretty darn good. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.